So this whole homeschooling thing is upsetting the Michigan Department Board of Education. And so they just had a recent board meeting where they were considering going into homeschool homes. These are people's residences without a warrant because they want to put them on a targeted list. Listen further for this Board of Education meeting. Board members, um, comments by state board members. Mr. McNeil. Okay. So this whole home, you know, and I should have, I could have brought it up because you brought it up during your superintendent report, but the whole homeschooling thing is really uh, quite disturbing. And one of the things that disturbs me about this is the disingenuousness of the discussion. Because we have people like the Senate Education Committee Chair, uh, Dana Polhanke, saying that when asked about increasing regulations beyond re registration, she said, not on my watch. Well, we got Attorney General Nessel that says that she wants to do it because the foster care system didn't do their job and apparently homeschool parents, uh, there was some abuse going on at a homeschool home um, or that actually it sounds like the foster care system, but certainly a mere registration, a list of people is not gonna have anything to do or will not help prevent um, what Attorney General Nessel is talking about. So she's already kind of said the quiet part out loud. She basically said, we want this list so that we can have unwarranted home entry uh, without a warrant, warrantless uh, home entry into homeschool, into this particular targeted group. Um, and we wanna be able to go in there. And uh, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of bad things happening all around the state potentially in some houses, but we have a legal system that says you have to have a warrant before you go in. However, um, because of this one instance, uh, you know, some in the state want to be able to barge in and, and bust the door down and, and I'm not being, you know, it's not hyperbolic. I mean, if they knock on the door and they say, no, I don't want you to come in, and there's all kind of reasons not to have them in. I, I don't. I hope I'm not the only one. But you know, there's to have the government come into your house. I don't know. There's a, a book called Three Felonies a Day. Can't remember the guy's name that wrote it. But I mean, if the government wants to get you, they're going to find something. Uh, and so you, there's just without warrant, they shouldn't be coming into your house. Um, and and so I just think that this is uh, this is it's going to go beyond registration uh, you know there there's there's either either naive habit, they're either naive or they're being disingenuous <clears throat> for anybody to say all we want to do is have a list um, it's going to go significantly further than that they're going to either want uh, to know exactly what's being taught um, or they're going to want entry into the houses and so i think that this is um, a real a real problem I guess I just wish that the debate would be sincere um, because we have we have one of the leaders in the education area saying, I promise you on my watch, it'll never happen. And, and that's only a few years. Um, but we, we know that in other instances, registration leads to confiscation. Registration leads to getting, you know, rounding up. I mean, there's just registration is the first step and it's not the only step. And I wish that the debate were clear that, you know, it's gonna be a lot further than registration. Uh, the desire uh, that the Attorney General has already articulated said that she wants warrantless home entry into this targeted group of people. And I think it's dangerous, you know, there's, that, I think that that could be any, you know, the next group could be next. I mean, who knows who the next group is? Um, that, that, that there's a target uh, for warrantless home entry. So um, I just, uh, I, that's my uh, initial comment or my comments on uh, this whole, some push by some people to simply register so we know where they are. I think that's completely disingenuous uh, and or naive, one or the other, but we know it doesn't stop there. Anybody that has half a brain realizes it doesn't just stop there. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. McMillan. Ms. Tilly. <clears throat> I just want to, because you mentioned the foster youth, I just want to say that this has been an issue in the community that has been talked about for a while about being able to track them. 
because they're bouncing from schools to <clears throat> homes and, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes there's issues where they've run away because of things that are that have happened. They want to better track them. I don't know about the other end of it, but as far as with the foster youth, that is a real issue.